I will be undisputed, the greatest combat athlete of all time. What's up guys, it's Kayla Harrison and I am so excited to be fighting on UFC 300 live in Las Vegas on April 13th. I know she's an amazing fighter and I'm really excited to share the cage with her. The time was weird too because it was in Australia, right? I remember it being like kind of a weird time and just being in shock. Like total and complete shock. I'm a to totally different fighter from Rhonda, so I don't make I don't draw that comparison. I just think about like what a this word gets thrown around a lot, but really what a legend she is in the sport and how um, her longevity, the way she's been able to stay in the top ten for so long and stay relevant and, and continue to grow and, and thrive as a fighter is something that man, that's a really difficult thing to do. Like the window for fighters is usually really small and she's stretched it out. So I know she's an amazing fighter and I'm really excited to share the cage with her. And new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Holly, the preacher's daughter. Nunes yeah, I mean, well, when you talk about legends, that is the legend, you know, she's the GOAT for a reason. Um, I really enjoyed my time training with her. I learned a lot from her. I, I look up to her and wanted, you know, she's a big reason I moved here was to train with her because if you want to be the best, you got to train with the best. And um, yeah, I think she's had an amazing career and I'm excited to push that envelope and see if I can match her, beat her, climb there, get there. This is an argument that I've had with Henry like a bazillion times about he's the greatest combat athlete of all time. I said, Henry, honey, I'm coming for you. Like, you have one Olympic, just one. Oh, what? what are you gonna do with one? Come over here real quick to the UFC, win a belt, maybe win another belt real quick, defend it, and uh, be two-time UFC champion. And then I am, and a world champion, and a Pan Am champion, and a Pan Am Games champion, anyways. I will be undisputed, the greatest combat athlete of all time. I'm pumped, it feels like the Olympics, you know, like it's hard. I think the other promotion I've, I competed for, you know, it's very much like a, it's, you're competing a lot, so it just feels like you're in, a, like you're in a push for, like in judo you competed a lot, but there's only one Olympics. There's only, and it's every four years. There's only one world championship and it's once a year. So all the other tournaments kind of are like whatever. And that's how it feels for UFC 300. It feels like, like this is it. Like this is what I've been waiting for. This is my moment. Um, I've been patient. I've been steady climbing and, and I'm ready to make the most of it. I, I think it's gonna be real different from what I'm used to and the vibe and the excitement. And I, I enjoy that. Like I love the pressure. I shine brightest under the, the, the bright, bright lights. And I can't wait. All of the women who've come before me um, in this sport, in this venue, for every female who's in a male-dominated world, pushing, breaking glass ceilings, making the way for the younger generation, I salute you, I applaud you, I'm a fan of you, and um, yeah, I can't wait to just see how far we come.